Hey guys, welcome to the channel and to this first episode of a new series of builds. I will do a body build together with a fellow modeler and YouTuber Chancer NW. And we will both build this kit. Arma Hobby 172 scale TS11 Iskra. Okay, so let's have a look at the kit and the aftermarket that I have um, added to it. So, first of all, this uh, kit from Arma Hobby is, uh, is the expert set boxing. So there are different uh, versions of this kit with a different uh, amount of aftermarket already added into the kit. And uh, so this is something that I would, if you compare it to Eduard, it should be something like a, a profi pack uh, set. So, okay, let's uh, open up the box and see what we have inside. I have already done uh, an inbox review of this kit, so I will not go into to details about uh, <coughs> everything. So what's included in the kit? We have um, uh, instructions, of course. Um, we have two sprues of uh, gray plastic. We have uh, clear parts. We have decals and a small sheet of acetate. Uh, this is used for the photo etch um, um, instrument panels in the cockpit. And we also have a small masking set. Okay, so on top of that I have uh, added um, from Arma Hobby some resin wheels. Uh, they look really really nice and uh, I will compare them with the uh, plastic uh, counterparts later on in the build. I have also invested in a, a photo edge set, an external photo edge set to uh, detail up the, the, I think it's the wheelbase and the, some other parts, like landing gear and stuff like that. And I have bought uh, some turned uh, pitot tubes and, uh, and a gun from uh, Master Models and um, there are a couple of uh, they are uh, sort of indicators for for the undercarriage a couple of really really small parts it almost I think it's difficult to see here with with all the glare from from the from the light but uh, there are a couple of tiny tiny parts that are <laughs> Uh, placed on on the top of the wings to uh, they are sort of when the when the, um, uh, the they indicate if the landing gear is uh, down or up basically so it's possible to see that from the cockpit i guess it's a, some kind of uh, fallback system for the <coughs> for the electrical sensors and i have also bought uh, sorry also bought a um, sheet of uh, technical stencils that I think will also uh, enhance the detail of the model when it's finished. So, um, this is uh, what I'm going to use in this build and uh, I uh, have no plans for doing stuff with a 3d printer or uh, even scratch building but you never know <laughs> i might come up with some uh, <laughs> crazy idea and then uh, then i then i will do that um the whole intention with this build is that it uh, it should not take four months like the my previous build the vegan so this is supposed to be a be a quicker build with uh, Hopefully a little bit less effort. 
and um, so yeah so I think that's it um, let's get started with the build Hello and welcome back. Okay, I started this build uh, roughly a week ago and I've been spending uh, a couple of hours uh, each evening during the week and uh, yesterday I spent something like four or five hours at the bench. So um, I have completed the first page, uh, the cockpit tub uh, with, I with uh, uh, instrument panels and uh, everything is completed. Uh, side panels uh, is completed as well, so everything is painted and uh, weathered and uh, ready for uh, for assembly. And I also done a um, dry fitting of the fuselage of just to check the, how the cockpit looks and um, and also to uh, to check the fit between the the part, different parts. So okay. If we look at the, the progress so far, um, I have spent quite a long time with uh, <laughs> painting and masking uh, the, the cockpit tub. Uh, at the bottom there are a couple of areas that are uh, green and um, uh, it was quite fiddly to, uh, to paint and mask those. And I have um, also painted the main color in the cockpit is th um, this one, uh, H307, uh, FS36320. And um, um, yeah, what can I say so far? That, I, I think that when my first impression of the kit when I when I saw it, I, I was a little bit concerned about the photo edge. Um, I thought it looked kind of cheap and uh, not so uh, good quality. 
but it actually was very very nice and uh, really nice details as well uh, and speaking of uh, quality or um, I think that the instrument panels uh, in this kit are using acetate um, sort of plastic foam that is uh, printed on the back side and then you can uh, add paint you can maybe you can see that the, the horizontal ball has a blue and a brown area and uh, <clears throat> I would say that this is far far better than the Edward uh, Zoom Zoom sets that I usually buy for my kids. So uh, and 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 this is also a thing that I I was a bit concerned about when I when I saw the kit at first. At first, uh, I mean, will this really look good? Um, so I, I was kind of hoping that uh, Edward was uh, <laughs> releasing. Um, uh, a zoom set for this kit but they have not and uh, in retrospect I'm actually quite happy that they didn't do that or haven't done that yet because uh, this is so much better I think and uh, I, I also did uh, <laughs> some funny things here I um, I uh, tried to paint the um, uh, the control panel on, on the bottom of the IP with uh, I think it's six different colors uh, and um, it, it's a, I think that panel is for for uh, the weapon system for the air to ground uh, uh, missiles and stuff like that so <laughs> it's uh, it's definitely a unique uh, feature of the of the Iskra the, that panel Okay, so um, and the side panels, they uh, look like this. Um, it's nothing special. I placed some PE, uh, uh, brush painted that and uh, weathered it with uh, Tamiya uh, panel line, the black panel line, uh, and uh, also flat coated it. And um, so yeah. Um, the next step for this kit or this build is to uh, start working on the on the photo etch and the, the wings. Um, there is um, the the nose um, landing gear bay is actually PE. It's that big part here. So that is uh, I need to uh, to finish that before I can sort of populate the fuselage halves and, and close up the uh, the fuselage and uh, also I need to remove um, these parts here and replace them with uh, with footage these guys here and these uh, things that that look like uh, fences so that will be uh, quite funny, I think, and uh, that is probably when I'm done. That that is probably when I uh, when I make a new video, uh, also, because uh, um, I plan to uh, to have a sort of uh, uh, cadence of one week between vid the build videos or uh, uh, vlog updates. Uh, because I, I don't want to, uh, this is supposed to be a short builder and, and uh, I want to have um, more coverage of the sort of process uh, step by step. So uh, I will probably do that and then shoot a new video and then maybe I will focus on uh, assembling the wings and fit them to, to the fuselage because that, that is uh, apparently one area that is... Uh, <clears throat> probably a little bit uh, challenging so I will try to uh, to make updates uh, one per week week uh, with this build okay so um, what are my impressions so far of this kit I I must say that uh, I'm positively surprised um, uh, th this is 
actually the first kit from Arma Hobby, I heard. And I think they have done for a first kit from a small manufacturer, this is uh, really, really good. And uh, I'm fully enjoying this build. And uh, uh, so far, I haven't uh, bumped into any difficulties or, or problems. But I, I know they lie ahead of me you know, with the with the seams uh, around the engines and uh, wings and stuff like that. But uh, uh, I, th I will take care of that when I when I get to that point. So, uh, yeah, I think that's uh, all I have to say uh, for now. And uh, hope you have uh, enjoyed this and you uh, will stay with me in this build series. Uh, this is uh, a really um, novel aircraft and I know that a lot of uh, Polish uh, people are very very proud of it and uh, it's uh, legendary <laughs> and for me uh, trainer aircrafts are, are really special so um, so that's why I that's why I bought this kit in, in the first place because I like uh, I like trainers and um, <clears throat> so um, so yes I will not drag on anymore uh, thank you for watching and I see you in the next one goodbye